um, that I've talked to people that come down to see us, and, and they talk about this emotion that they get when they are here or when they're at a gig, and uh, it's really something they can't get anywhere else. And it's something that we don't realize playing in the band as much because we do it every night. So it's just in our heads, you know. But if they see us every few weeks or every couple months, then it's just... Uh, people say it's kind of a carnival atmosphere because it's not we're not playing pop songs, you know, and it's not something that would be accessible to, um, you know, the mainstream first-time listener necessarily. But um, for the people that come, the music and everything else that goes on in the room and on stage and in the crowd, and it, it's this different sort of feeling, and it's unique to this, you know, ex ex experience, and so they keep coming back. Is it ever scary because people are sort of upset? No, I think it's great. I love actually. it. Actually. Uh, because the reason that I love it is because, because what I'm saying before, it keeps you on your toes. You have to be thinking of something new, and that challenge to me, we couldn't go out we did four gigs on this Horde tour, and the first gig and the third gig, we played three, like three of the same songs. We didn't, you know, we played, the first gig we played, second gig we did all different songs except one. The third gig, we played similar songs that we played to the first gig, and I heard from people, you know, because they're following us around. They said, Why don't you play, because we have about a hundred songs in our song list, and um, original songs. Most of them aren't on albums. so. Whatever the point, the point being that I, I like it. I think it, it keeps it keeps things fresh and keeps things interesting. Uh, Rolling. Okay. Um, two more questions. Um, so you guys been like constantly on the road for nine years? No, not exactly. How extensive is your time? We've been playing for nine years. Our we're we're on the road plenty now. Uh, seven months. Seven months. Seven months out of the year. And um, when we started, though, it's been a very slow process for us, and we've been in no rush, and I like it that way. I, I hope it continues to be slow. I'm not in any rush to go anywhere, but we started in Burlington. We slowly moved out to, that's in Vermont, uh, home of Tabitha. We slowly moved out to New Hampshire, and, you know, got a gig in Massachusetts, got a gig in New York, went down south, went to Colorado. This is over a period of years. And eventually, by heavy touring, built our way up to touring the whole country and then we just finished our first European tour where again we were you know maybe we convinced a hundred people in Europe that's the way I feel about it we had one very strong gig over there and the rest were because we were the warm-up act for the violent Femmes. but um, you know it's been, a, it's been a slow thing over nine years and it keeps getting more the touring because more. Do you see yourself touring like 20 years from now still together? Good chance of it I hope so we get along very well for a band that's been playing for nine years and uh, things to me don't really feel any different now than they did nine years ago. I mean, the experience of going on stage and having a, a great musical experience um, is the excitement of the, the band. And I don't care if tonight there's 12,000 people or something and nine years ago there was two in the room. And I'm telling you, it really doesn't feel any different to me. If we play well, it's exciting, and if we don't play well, it's it's frustrating. So it's a real it's continual, worth it. though. I mean, all in all, it's, it's an incredible job to be able to travel around and you know go to some new city that we've never played in and jam and and uh, play music that we've never heard before because it's all spontaneous, you know, uh, to that moment and uh, have some people be blown away by it or, or something. Um, so if we could be doing that in 20 years, then I'd like to be doing it. Things are going to come into play, of course. None of us are married, including the crew. No one has any children yet. So in terms of the heavy touring schedule, my philosophy is a little bit that let's let's do it because let's do it now because I'm going to, I'm hopefully going to have a family and then we'll have to, you know, we'll have to figure something out take the family on the road or not to work quite as much. Like we'll, care about <laughs> I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens, but that will be that will be another issue uh, when that happens. Um, last question, uh, videos. Will you ever make one? Oh, I assume. Um, we have, we almost, we were planning on making one for this last, uh, this last album and, and 
uh, it was going to be an animation, and it ended up just being too expensive and too time-consuming, and everybody wanted the video done by July, and it's July now. The video has been done. What do you say to that, Mike? I agree. The video isn't done. <laughs> Great. <clears throat>